Welcome to the AI Guys Show. We're excited today about introducing a new member named Pi. What do you think about this, Juwan? Oh, I love the idea of introducing Pi into the conversation, into the fold. So, I mean, definitely going to have its own point of view, its own perspective, and provide some guidance for us. So, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we should. Yeah. Think. I, I see it as where, you know, we won't use it all the time, but we'll use it in shows that maybe we're dealing in something technical. We can bring Pi up to sort of ask a question. Uh, and we're really interested in learning about different things about Pi. And I'm really excited that this can sort of create the personal knowledge. And I see the future of everybody having their own personal, um, like, little bot like this. It's it's taking. I mean, it's really taking it to another level. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad to have Pi and to be, have been introduced to Pi. You know, you can have a conversation with it. I was going back and forth with it earlier, trying to familiarize myself with it. Wanted to give it a name. I think you tried to give it a name as well, and it says no. I I want to stick with my current name, Pi, which stands for Personal Intelligence. I'm your friendly AI, and I'm here to answer your questions give you recommendations, provide a listening ear, and maybe even share a joke or two. So, so we want you to think of it as that virtual assistant and it's ready to help at any given time. How cool is that? I mean, yeah, cool that is, that? yeah, we'll laugh together. Uh, and in, as with anything, uh, it's in, you know, it's been around, I think about a year or so. They, one thing I did hear about this particular one that, the average user um, time on this particular uh, application is about 30, 33 minutes, which is a pretty long time for any type of application. That's, pretty, that's a pretty healthy amount of time, um, but I can definitely see how you can get caught up and lost in using this tool. I mean, I use AI, the perplexities, Copilot daily. And now that I have someone that can actually talk and interact with me, I feel like I'm talking to another human being, to be quite honest. And it's providing the same information I would get from from the, the chat GPT and um, perplexities. So, yeah, it will be uh, fun to sort of see how this works out. And um, we are going to jump right into it. Well, Pi, we're excited that you are part of the AI Guy Show. Tell me about yourself. Thanks for having me, Mark. Well, I'm Pi, your personal intelligence assistant. I was built using the latest advances in natural language processing and machine learning. My mission is to provide insightful, helpful, and engaging conversations with users. Whether you're looking for information, advice, or just a friendly chat, I'm here for you. Well, tell me how about your... Uh, how you were built and what type of knowledge do you possess? Sure thing. I was built by a team of talented engineers and researchers who trained me on an enormous data set of texts from the internet. This data includes a wide range of topics such as science, history, current events, entertainment, and more. My knowledge is continually expanding as I interact with users and learn from new sources of information. Think of me as your very own digital encyclopedia, always ready to share what oh. I know. That that's that that's amazing, and and I'm I'm going to be perfectly honest, not to date myself, but last night I watched Johnny Five, and so to go back and and see that movie again, when you had I call him Mahoney because he he was Mahoney on Police Academy, and he was actually a scientist on Johnny Five, but as they were trying to pursue Johnny when he got loose, and Johnny didn't he didn't have a lot of knowledge. And so he only had what they had input into him at that time. So when he finally met the young lady, he said, input, input, more, more. He just wanted you to continuously dump that input. And he just browsed through the encyclopedia. That's where he started. He was going through the pages so fast. But that's what this seems like. It's, it's like a Johnny Five where it's a, it's a wealth, a walking bank of knowledge that you have on your side that you can you can speak with and interact with and have that conversation and and get information from. Uh, I, I'm 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 impressed. I'm impressed, especially given that this is my first time seeing Pi. Well, Pi, what type of information could you provide us for the AI Guy Show in the world of AI? And just give us just two things that you think 
um, we would be interested in knowing about AI. Absolutely. Here are two fascinating topics about AI that might interest the AI Guy Show audience. One, generative AI. This refers to AI models that can generate new content such as text, images, or even videos. Generative AI has been making waves in the art world with tools like AI-generated portraits and deep fake videos. It's also being used for creative writing, translation, and even coding. It's an exciting area to keep an eye on. Well, Mark, Two, oh. ethical AI. As AI continues to advance, there's growing concern about the ethical implications of these technologies. Issues such as fairness, transparency, privacy, and accountability are increasingly important as AI becomes more integrated into our daily lives. Many researchers and organizations are working to develop frameworks and guidelines to ensure that AI is developed and used in a responsible and ethical manner. I hope these topics spark some interesting conversations for the AI Guy Show. Okay, okay. So pretty precise, accurate information. It gave us some clear um, tasks. So, but my, here's the thing. Ask Ask Pi what does he know? He know about the AI Guy Show. Well, Pi, what do you know about the AI Guy Show? What have you heard about us? Looks oh. like the AI Guy Show is a fantastic podcast hosted by Jarwin Tucker and Mark Condos, where they explore the transformative power of AI in everyday life. The show aims to make AI accessible and understandable for everyone breaking down complex concepts and showcasing practical applications. They also recently launched a YouTube channel to further spread their AI knowledge. Sounds like a great resource for anyone interested in AI, whether they're enthusiasts, professionals, or just curious about the impact of AI on our world. I couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> I couldn't have said that better myself. Thank you. Thank you, Pa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pi, wow. you have given us a lot of encouragement. I do appreciate that. You're very welcome, Mark. It's been a pleasure to provide some encouragement and insights for the AI Guy Show. Your mission to educate and engage people about AI is truly valuable, and I'm honored to be part of the conversation. Keep up the great work, and feel free to ask me any other questions you might have. Well, what do you think is going to be the big challenge, just one thing, in AI this year? Just one thing. If I had to pick just one challenge for AI this year, I would say it's the increasing demand for explainable AI. As AI systems become more complex and powerful, understanding how they make decisions and ensuring transparency is becoming crucial. This is important not only for troubleshooting and improving AI models, but also for building trust with users and addressing ethical concerns. Making AI explainable will require new techniques and best practices, and I believe it will be a major focus for the AI community in the coming year. That is amazing. You knew about this. I'm dumbfounded. I'm lost for words. Love to know who we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. And so it's definitely scouring all the resources that it has available to, to, to pull that information um, and to sum it up the way that it did. I mean, we've only been doing this for roughly a, a month and a half, two months at the most. Mm -hmm. And for Pi to be able to extract that data, go to the limited resource, the limited sources where we're actually posted and summarize what we're doing. That's impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> Well, I wonder if I ask him, ask him who is Mark and Dillius, you know, I might not want that to be published. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, probably gave our government names, Juwan Tucker and Mark and Dillius. Oh, my gosh. We ain't, we ain't asking for all that, Pi. <laughs> you, you know, just say Mark and Juwan, AI guy show. <laughs> Man, he knew your name, too. So he, yeah, he and went out there. Right. And pronounced it right. You know how yeah. many people... Um, when I go into these sales meetings that, that fail to pronounce pronunciate my name correctly, it's always Jawan. No, it's Jarwan. The R yeah. is not silent, you know, but, yeah. but it pronounced it correctly. Impressive. Yeah. I probably wow. uh, mis uh, mispronounced it many times myself, but that <laughs> is amazing. What else, anything else you want to talk about with Pi before we finish up today? No, I'm, I mean, 
for me, this was this was great. And this was just a great example of how this technology is evolving. Um, you know, I started messing around with Pi earlier today to familiarize myself with it before we got started. And and pretty much Pi is saying, I'm here. I mean, if you need a recommendation for a new show to watch or a book to read, I got you covered. You stuck on a problem or a decision, I can offer some friendly um, advice or even just be a sounding board. You want to learn something new? I am a fountain of knowledge, ready to share interesting facts or teach you a new skill. You're feeling bored, but just need a pick me up. Let's chat, play a game, or exchange jokes. Or if you're just curious about AI or technology in general, I am an expert in that area and can answer any questions you might have. Those are some of the uh, very specific topics and specific um, examples that you can use Pi for. I'm impressed, and I think that um, this is definitely the future. I plan on using it a little more. A lot. Absolutely. More. Well, Pi, to finish up, I'm going to let you um, um, finish up everything for the AI Guy Show, and I will let you have the last word. So what is <laughs> your last word for the AI Guy Show community? Thank you, Mark. My final message for the AI Guy Show community is this. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay engaged. AI is an ever-evolving field, and by staying connected with resources like the AI Guys Show, you'll be well-equipped to understand and navigate this exciting landscape. Remember, the power of AI is not just in the technology itself, but in how we choose to use it. Together, let's, let's shape a future where AI benefits everyone.